Well, folks, we got ourselves a bit of an issue. Um, blind's not here. All right, folks, we're down here where the beer, the beer blind. <laughs> okay, we're down here where the deer blind was. Um, it was right there. Only thing left is a small chair. Anyway, we're gonna go look around, see if we can find it. I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope for it. If so, I'm out 150 bucks. Just don't tell Jen. And uh, we got the old cars over there behind the camera. We're gonna go over there and B-roll some of those, and then we're gonna do the comparison with the M3 and this SL2. I'm hoping it's gonna be better. See you in a bit. Well, I got some good news and some bad news. On the blind, it looks kind of messed up, but let's see if we can pull it out and see if it's still salvageable. Yeah, it was way over there. Well, quick answer to that question it's not salvageable, it's got a great big uh, log on top of it that we can't move. Anyway, let's go find some cars. We're gonna go do some B roll. Just so you guys are aware, everything I'm shooting out here today is in 60 frames per second. I'm still getting used to this camera, switching the frame rates, playing with the f stop shutter speed and all that so for today's purposes it's gonna be all 60 frames per second so I'm gonna go through the archives and get some of the b-roll that I shot with the M3 of these cars well I'm gonna play the M3 then I'm gonna play this SL2 I'm hoping the SL2 is better in fact I think it's gonna be better you be the judge All right, so this camera came with the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. It is stabilized. It also has the autofocus, manual focus right on the lens, which is something I'm not used to. I'm used to changing it in the camera. So if some of this seems a little out of focus, again, it's usually user error. And this is gonna be user error. So I'm still getting used to it, bear with me. And like I mentioned, the articulating screen is out to the side, so you'll see me periodically looking over there instead of looking up now. On top, I was able to fit the road mic, which I like it better up there, which also means I can put my dead cat on there and reduce the wind noise. You guys all know in my videos, the wind has been a problem. All right, so that's gonna be it for shooting video out here. I got the cars, I got the trucks, I got some other things. Uh, Nate's gonna probably spend some more money over there at the biscuit senders. Uh, as you know, we can't say what they are. YouTube doesn't like that very much. Obviously, we don't make any money on YouTube when you're playing with those kind of things out here. And uh, we gotta supplement the income somehow. So if you are so inclined to support this channel, you all know that I make custom duck calls, the goose calls, and soon to come turkey calls. And there's a link in the description down below. that will take you to my website. It'll show you all the calls that we have currently on hand. And I'm making more pretty much every day. Uh, I know waterfowl season's over here in Ontario, but down south it's still going strong and uh, we'll be rip raring to go come September when season opens again here. So that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to head home now. I'm going to edit this up. If you haven't already done so, 
hit that red button subscribe to my channel i do appreciate it very much we are growing and growing fast and uh and that's all thanks to you guys but uh while you're here do me a favor hit the thumbs up uh that helps get the video suggested as you know these type of videos involving these biscuit senders and i don't need to repeat it i've been saying it in almost every video but it's frustrating anyway that's all i got for today's video i hope you enjoyed that i hope this sl2 turns out as good as i think it does and there'll be plenty more videos coming we'll see you later all right folks pop quiz who can tell me what this is somebody if you know what it is leave me a comment down below but this is the 16 current greatest hits little willie tie yellow ribbon around the old oak tree i can see clearly now crocodile rock yeah that's old in case you're wondering that's nate in the background with his shotgun watch don't get shot in the back